Hi everyone, Danielle from Glembo with our Glembo from Home program for the week. This week we're going to be focusing on our historical art gallery. We're going to be doing some writing activities, so this will connect to uh, visual fine arts as well as language arts. And the reason we're doing this is because right now at the museum, we have an initiative called Dear Glenbo. What we want you to do is we want you to write in stories and letters to Glenbo about your time during this COVID-19 pandemic. And we want to collect these stories and they will be put into our collections for long-term use. Now, what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna take you through some activities by using art as a jumping off point for some really great descriptive writing. This you can use in stories, you can use this in letters, and we're hoping that we'll, we'll teach you some skills today so that you can write us some really interesting and descriptive letters for our Dear Glembo initiative. So stick with us and we'll head into the gallery. Here we are in our Picturing the Northwest or our Historical Art Gallery. Curator Roger Boulet put this gallery together to tell a story of Canada and the West. Beginning on the plains with the bison and the First Nations peoples of the prairies, through the fur trade and onto the settlement of the West, this gallery captures the animals, the beauty of nature, people, places, and things. Before the camera was invented, the role of an artist was to capture moments in time. Sometimes that was people and portraits, sometimes it was events, and other times it was to track history. We can use art in so many different ways. Sometimes a piece has a clear story to tell us, sometimes not. So how do we use art to help us write a story? In paintings and sculptures such as these, many times there is a narrative. A narrative is a story that the artist is trying to tell. As viewers and investigators of this artwork, our job is to try and understand these stories, try and understand the scene. But sometimes we can have a lot of fun using art to help create our own stories. If you imagine yourself as if you're in the painting, like a part of a scene of a play, we can write some really interesting pieces using art as a jumping off point. When we become the people in the painting, we can hear things, see things, smell things. We can then take those descriptions and begin to write a wonderful story. When you use these skills, you can learn to turn your words into a visual for someone to see in their imagination. Let's look at this painting by Carl Rungus as an example. What can you see in this painting? If you were out there watching this moose, what do you think you'd be able to hear? What could you smell? How would the air feel? Can you taste anything? By using these senses to slow down and look deeper at the painting, we can start to put words together to describe what's happening. Here's my example. The air was still and fresh that day like the dew had just covered everything around us. You could feel the slightest breeze, but the moose was so calm, it was like we were in a painting. You would never believe this enormous animal could be so quiet. The water was like glass and almost looked like a piece of ice. A sense of peace and quiet came over me as I sat and felt so small next to the magnificence of nature that surrounded me. In this example, I used descriptive words to explain how I was feeling, what I could hear around me, how the air felt, how the water looked. By using verbs to describe, we can get a clear picture in our minds. Now, I want you to try it. Let's use this piece by Charlie Russell. There's a lot of action in this painting. So many things to hear, smell, feel, and see. Practice with this first and let's see what you can come up with. 
Or, if you don't want to use this painting, you can use any piece you want. Just pause the video wherever you'd like and take your time. Use your senses and get some great stories going. Once you've done this, Practice and use these same skills in your letters to us for our Dear Glembo collection. But use your own surroundings. Use your own life as your jumping off points. What's been going on around you? Is it quieter than normal? How have you been feeling? Use these skills and descriptive words to create a great letter for us. Remember to send in your letters so we can add them to our collection. Here's our link. We can't wait to read them.